Our prayers have somewhat been answered. Uh, that is for Las Vegas Raiders fans, and we consider the fact that uh, Alex Leatherwood's not going to be starting at right tackle. Listen, I... I held out hope for him. I felt like he was going to be a guy that at least if he got the opportunity, maybe he could get something going with Josh McDaniels and company, but it didn't happen. And now Jermaine Illuminar looks like he's going to be the starter moving forward into the season. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there is one player in particular that is coming. And I think it's Theron Munford. That is right. Now, Theron Munford, uh, who was an, an absolute standout at Ohio State, um, last year had a 73.7 PFF grade, uh, played in a total of 12 games for the Buckeyes, uh, 704 total offensive snaps, only allowed one sack, one hit, and 14 quarterback hurries. Now, the year before that, um, you know, played in seven games, over 500 snaps, no sacks, no hits, but three hurries as well. Um, and, you know, the vast majority of his snaps really have come at left tackle. Now, uh, his senior year there, or excuse me, his last year there, I should say, uh, with the Buckeyes, it was mainly, or mainly at left guard where he spent most of his time, which, you know, I like versatility. I don't have a problem with him playing wherever he's got to play to be able to help out the team. So if it's at left guard, fine. But I would like to see Dylan Parham in there, uh, specifically at left guard over John Simpson. But it is what it is. Overall, though, the, the Raiders' offensive line, it, it should rest easy. And the rest of the Raiders' fan base, and Derek Carr for that matter, should rest easy knowing that Thayer Munford is soon. Soon. I'm calling it. Week six. I, I give him six weeks. Maybe not even that much, to be honest with you. Because, don't get me wrong. I like Jermaine Illuminar. We have said from the very beginning that he is going to be the biggest wild card. If he can play well, you know, he's probably not going to come out the field. If he plays well, Derek Carr stays upright, he's not going to come out. However, if he seems to struggle or just can't quite uh, get it done, I think it's time to put in Thayer Munford. Like, what is the worst that can happen? We have seen Alex Leatherwood. We have seen, you know, uh, I just, uh, Brandon Parker. I mean, I just... I don't even know what to say anymore. And then also, yes, there, Munford, who has shown actually quite a bit uh, and a lot of ability to be uh, that next guy that can be a quality starting right tackle for the Raiders. And we've actually got a couple of plays to show you here, and I'm going to remember to enhance them so you guys can see them. Uh, but Matt Holder here uh, bringing us the video. Uh, just you guys follow him. That's all you guys need to know. So uh, really points out here the pass set. There, Munford at right tackle here. You really like that pass set. I mean, that was kind of the biggest thing moving forward with uh, the right tackle position for the Raiders can they pass that because yes uh this is I believe that Chase, is that Chase Garbers throwing that pass anyway doesn't matter I really liked how he played um but you really like where and how he sets specifically you know keeps his hands inside uh, and, and when he's ready to punch he makes sure that he stops the defensive lineman in that track so look at how he stops that okay so he starts out here it's coming boom he, st he immediately hits it I'm gonna actually see if I can see him in a whole hopefully I don't, I don't mess with anybody so he keeps, comes off the snap here and then keeps his hand in tights and then finally he hits his man first that's what you want to see so boom hits his man first stops him in his tracks uh, and he does uh, you know gives him enough time to be able to get there but he's also in great position like even if this tackle or excuse me this defensive end makes a play upfield he's going to push him out of the way so you love that that technique over there uh, then we'll go over to the next play here by holder as well against my vikings and my raiders and my vikings i know but um you really like his ability here too um yes we mentioned it a little bit before talking about okay uh the defensive end is past you push him on by that's all you got to do if you can hear that sorry my wife is watering the lawn she's killing it lately um so you'll see here the uh, munford does a great job of getting himself in a great position uh kind of sitting and waiting to decide and see what the defensive end is going to do um you know Devin tomlinson also was just a man for the vikings but um you really see him just hey, push him by he, he takes himself out of the play you just you don't care about it uh boom like he, he tries to do a little bit of a rip here i believe um I think that's Janarius Robinson for the Vikings. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, but he comes around there going, yeah, so it's there, Munford going against G uh, Janarius Robinson. And he tries to kind of do a little bit of a, um, you'll see Janarius Robinson try to come up uh, with that rip. He's trying to just blow by him and beat him with speed. But there, Munford, he was ready for it. So, you know, boom, get a hands on a man, push him by. You love to see it. So a lot of you probably are wondering, well, what about the run game, Colton? I'll get there. So uh, we're going to bring it full screen for you here again. So this play he's going to double team the nose tackle here or the defensive tackle here and what you want to see from this is yes push down the line here if i'll quit punching my microphone push down the line here and then get to the second level so you can clear space here and i believe he clears it for uh zed britton brown i can't i can't uh, see but anyway so you'll see him here uh, I'm actually going to start it over. So you'll see him come down on the defensive tackle with the uh, right guard here. Um, does a great job. So, uh, boom, create space, get to second level, peels off, and gets 53. Boom, he did, they just take 97 out of the play completely. Uh, you love to see that. So, um, 
this is not a great uh, this is not a great example of being able to take up double teams this is uh you know this is their munford and company getting the job done boom and then peeling off and getting the linebacker here and now does this linebacker make the play yes but overall this is a win this is a win because if the running back has a little bit more patience if he takes it here i'm going to go up ahead a little bit more has a little bit more patience uh and probably uh in this honestly this corner does a great job of blowing up the play here so yes he's got a lane run lane right here you would like to see this uh wide receiver uh, kind of get a little bit more into it there uh but overall i think that's that dj turner i can't tell but uh, you would like to see him uh, kind of take this down a little bit more but 29 does a great job of getting in the play and that kind of messes it up from the beginning but if if everything is ideal in this this is a touchdown because you talk about okay the uh, you got these two guys coming down on a double team he's reading the uh the middle a gap there and then you've got 29 coming on if you can just get him down and you've got britain brown for a looks like what a 30 yard touchdown here yeah so uh, it would be beautifully executed if not for executed excuse me if not for 29 who just made a great play here um but still it's still a great play because he got a couple yards out of it there month for doing what he's doing now the one thing i would like to see from the running back is he would if he would have bounced it out a little bit more this way because then uh or at least come back and then come right behind there munford um because i do feel like yes he would have had to deal with um you know that other corner there but i don't care at the end of the day i felt like that's probably would have been the best area there but you like there munford's play in this you like his ability to both push down the defensive lineman and then make it to second level he's got the athleticism to help you in the run and pass game and i think i think he is coming for uh and to be that starter at right tackle and i think he could be there for a while but let us know what you guys think make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully quit punching your laptop colton you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so make sure you guys give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like to cover send us an email at the sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. but let us know what you guys think about Thayer Munford coming for the starting right tackle spot for the Las Vegas Raiders.